Hey guys, Wolf Girl here, and today. Oh, so my door was open. Hey guys, Wolf Girl here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make different Baby Alive doll drinks. Obviously, there's an unlimited amount of different drinks you can come up with, but I'm going to be going over the basic ones that people seem to struggle with and the most common ones that people like to make. And I'm also going to give you some tips on how to make other drinks like different types of juice and smoothies for when you would like to come up with your own. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make apple juice, orange juice, milk, flavored milk like chocolate milk or strawberry milk or banana milk for example, uh, and any type of smoothie. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. My voice sounds gross because I felt kind of sick, but I wanted to film this video anyway, so that's why I filmed it. Now when it comes to making juice, you're going to need paper towels, washable markers, I just have these markers on me right now. My favorites to use are Rose Art and Crayola. And these are really old markers, I've had them for years and they're still pretty good. And optional if you're making milk or smoothies, white paint. This one's a bit watery because it started getting really thick and I put some water in it and I accidentally put too much water in it, so <laughs> anyways, we're gonna get start we're going to get started now. Sorry, I keep needing to adjust the camera, but anyways, we're gonna start with apple juice. So obviously you're going to need water to make all of these. I already filled up the bottles before I came to my room because it's easier to do that. To make apple juice, you need both orange and yellow. I don't know what's wrong with the cap of my yellow. And you're going to color a small section of this paper towel, half orange and half yellow. And by small section, I mean maybe about... That's actually a little bit big. Something like this. And I'll call the other side for good measure. If you're coloring with markers and paper towel, always make sure to color both sides because, well, it gives you more color and you don't waste nearly as much paper towel. Perfect. And you take this little piece of paper towel, scrunch it up like a hidden message, you put it in the bottle, and, okay, I almost want to put this on instead of this. Okay. Now you shake it. Boom. Done. Unscrew the cap. Take your little... Yuck. Take your little paper towel out, squeeze it out, throw it away, and look, it looks just like apple... And it looks just like apple juice. Okay, and moving on. Milk. Milk is pretty easy. You just take white paint. This is washable paint. You should always use washable paint whenever you use paint to make doll food. And you pour a little bit in. I poured a lot in because this paint is very runny. Hold on, I can't close it. Screw your cap back on. Always remember to cover the hole whenever you're shaking so stuff doesn't go everywhere. And there we go. This bottle kind of has a bit of a pink tint to it because it's stained, but the milk doesn't look like that. When making milk, you don't want to use lotion. I see so many people using lotion to make milk. You don't want to do that. If you're just going to have milk in a bottle as a prop and you're not going to feed it to any of your kids, then that's okay. But overall, you have to use a lot of lotion to make anything that looks close to milk. And when feeding it to your doll, it's actually obviously thicker than regular water. So it might not go down and there might be chunks in it, so it's better to stick with paint. Moving on. Orange juice. Actually, orange juice, my leg gross in that bottle. Let's... <coughs> orange juice. Because orange juice is, in fact, you know, not clear, just like milk, we're also going to be using white paint. But I put a bit less. And if you have the right color of paint, you can just use straight up yellowy orange paint in orange juice, but I don't have a shade of paint that looks like that, so we're going to be doing it this way. Because I don't think a lot of people even have that kind of shade of paint. Okay. So, 
Hmm. It doesn't look right. I'm gonna put a little bit more paint in it. And remember, you can always adjust the way something looks by adding more paint or by coloring a paper towel with the color you think needs to be added. We are again going to take a small piece of paper towel, but this time we are just coloring it orange. You know the drill, both sides. Kind of roll it up or scrunch it up like a hidden message, put it in. Take out your orange. Oh dear. Okay, something went a little bit wrong, and mine doesn't look entirely like orange juice. It looks a lot like it, but not enough like it, to my taste. Apparently this marker was a bit too orange, so I'm going to take a very small piece of paper towel. Perfect. Flavored milk has made the ba- <laughs> Flavored milk is made basically the same way you would make orange juice, but- Milkier. Okay. So obviously you're going to pour a bit of white paint. That's- okay, that's actually a lot of white paint. That might be too much. Oh well. And adding too much white paint won't necessarily ruin it. It's just kind of a waste, so that's why I try to put as little as possible in there while still making it look like milk. There we go. Looks like milk. Okay. This will go for any flavor, obviously. I'm not going to show how to make them all because I'm pretty sure there's more flavors of milk than just banana, strawberry, and chocolate. But I'm going to try to make banana milk. So you're going to take your marker and your paper towel, and since it has a lot of paint in it, you're going to want to take a bigger piece of paper towel. And if the color isn't dark enough, you can always rip off another piece of paper towel and repeat the process until you have the color you want. And the same goes for if it's too dark, you can just add a little bit more white paint. It's really simple. Okay. Once again, hidden message. Boink. Close it up. Close it good. Otherwise, your mom might yell at you. Banana milk. N oh, okay. I screwed that on too tight. Now we... Mmm, tasty. For some reason, it just looks like slimy popcorn to me. And that's how you make flavored milk or a smoothie. Okay, I technically already showed you how to make smoothies because this same technique can be used to make any smoothie. You can just throw any color in there. But I'm going to be showing you how to make a smoothie anyway, but I'm going to make a very special smoothie. A lot of people make blueberry juice or blueberry smoothie or something, and they make it blue. When in reality, blueberry smoothies don't actually look like that, so I'm going to show you actually how to make, you know, a realistic looking blueberry smoothie. And if you want to make your blueberry smoothie look blue you can do that but if you want to make it look realistic then this is what you're going to want to do this paper towel be looking abused okay you know the drill already pour some white paint okay that screw the cap back on i have paint on my finger shake it up looking pretty good oh this bottle is stained too nice get a purple and a blue this blue is kind of dark and put a generous amount of purple on it okay now take your blue And call the rest. Secret message. Cap. Lid. Whatever. Yes. Where are you? Okay. Ugh. And that's, and that's a blueberry smoothie. Now that I showed you that you can make basically any type of smoothie, flavored milk, and, well, just regular milk, I'm just going to remind you that the method that we use for the apple juice can be used with 
pretty much any drink that you can imagine that's clear, see-through, like water. You can make lemonade, you can make any type of Gatorade or Powerade or... I, I don't understand the hype around Gatorade, to be honest. I've never had Gatorade, it looks gross. You can make any type of soda. Like here, for example, I just colored this paper towel green. I don't know, I guess this can be green Gatorade. Don't be afraid to get creative. You can make absolutely anything you want. Heck, if you want to make some sort of unicorn poop drink, you can. I would like to advise you that once again, if you're going to make milk or any sort of smoothie, please only use white paint. Do not use lotion or, oh my gosh, don't use flour. Please don't use flour. That you are asking for mold if you use flour. So don't be afraid to experiment. A lot of these come from trial and error. If you didn't get it right the first time, you can just try again until you find something you like. It's very easy to balance colors out because like I said earlier, if something doesn't look right, like it's, let's say, it's not yellow enough, you can just color a bit of yellow on a paper towel and mix that in as well, just for example. You can add water, add more paint, add more of a certain color. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So thanks for watching. Please click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And let me know if you're going to be trying any of these out. We will see you guys later. Bye-bye.